time for? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, uh, recording started. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. So I'm from Moscow. Okay, My name is okay. And whereabouts do you live in Moscow? Tell me which uh, metro station you're near, because I know that city in terms of metro station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it just named university. You know, Moscow okay, yeah, I know university. Yet. Yeah, certainly, yeah. certainly. Okay, excellent. Um, and tell us, uh, what would you like to do today? Would you like to retell a story that you've already read or a film, or would you like to use these pictures I, I, that I usually use? You've obviously used them before. What do you prefer? Um, let's. Uh... Like previously, uh, or describing what happened on the pictures, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, and it's all of course it's always tricky because it's you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, you never know what yeah. you're going to get in life. Okay, now you've got an advantage because I know that you can read this, and that will help you uh, <laughs> certainly yeah. with understand the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. So, uh, we can see on the pictures there is kind of I guess a rich man. Good. And there is a dog, uh, who is, oh, uh, uh, when dog is making loud noise, I'm just... Good, yeah, okay, there's a good verb you can use, like, there are a few, in fact. <laughs> Barks. Uh, bark is, bark is one we can use, someone just yeah. said bark. The dog is barking, or you can use some other good words here, the dog is growling. Growl means like it's that kind of sound, yeah. And they, of course, they often do that, vicious dogs. But you can also say snarl, which is like growl. The dog is snarling, mm. the dog is growling, but bark for that rough, rough, you know, the general noise ha that they make. Howling, howling. Howling, howling is good as well, yeah. That's more like a ho, 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 you know, it's more like a wolf makes a, a howl. But um, certainly they do howl as well. Good. Okay, so oh, the dog is angry. Uh, yeah, and the barking is this man barking is... at sorry uh barking at this man uh yes at this man and, uh... and all of them would be at actually just to give you a bit more uh information growling at this man snarling at this man howling at this man every single one of them will be at and i suppose it's because there's a certain amount of aggression there and at is aggressive yeah if you if i throw something at you which i can't because you're too far away if i throw something at you i'm attacking you if i throw something to you i want you to catch it and so there's a big difference between to and at there with other verbs. I see. Thank you. So then uh, they manage in shop and dropping his uh, cigar. OK, and I would say and he drops his cigar if you're talking about the next thing in a story. I know that as teachers, we tell you use present continuous when you describe a picture. But when you're describing a number of pictures in a story, it's one event, then the next event, then the next event. So I would use simple, simple, simple. Mm. Okay. And... Uh, then man kind of trying to fight, will fight the dog back. Good, fight and... back. Yeah, he tries to fight back. No object with fight back. Yeah. He tries to fight back. And uh, then he just run away. Good. Uh, yeah. And uh, could you please... Uh... We pull down the Sorry, scroll down. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then we see that uh, man is uh, uh, trying to go back home. Uh, he's closing the door and then opening it. Or, so he closes. He closes his door and then opens it. Always remember the S for he. Yeah, opens it and uh, then dropping kind of some then... eat. For the dog. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you know the sex of an animal, you can use he or she. I certainly don't mind you doing it, especially with a pet. Just because I think when it's a pet, we do usually use he or she. I have a boy cat and a girl cat, and I certainly use he or she or him or her, because mm -hmm. they are a boy or a girl for me. Mm -hmm. Then there is more food for the, for, for the dog. And then uh, the dog... Uh, going to be more obedient Good. now just yeah totally f fine uh with with the man you know uh the wild dog is a pet for this good. man good what did he put on the dog at the end pain 
a chain. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, you could say he puts a chain on the dog. We also call it a leash. Le leash. Yes, yeah, it's also called a leash. And so mm -hmm. he puts a leash on the dog. And the thing which he attaches it to, do you know what that one's called? Which is round the dog. Mm. It's the same word for people um, when they're wearing a shirt. Yeah, when we wear shirts, we have at the top of the shirt, there is a... Mm -mm -mm. Collar. Collar, exactly. Collar. And so it is a dog's collar or just a collar. Um, and so he attaches a leash, a chain to the collar. Yeah, so that he has the dog controlled and contained. Okay, that was excellent, Ijev. Superb. I can't see you now. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Excellent. And so, yeah, we will. Let's have a look. I think we've got quite a few people here today, so we will carry on then. We'll just do one picture each. But that was excellent. Please jump in, Ijev, if you know the word or anything like that later, when, which you can see. Oh, in fact, let's do one more. Do you know, Ijev, what we call that small house for the dog? It's on the tip of your tongue, I can see. <laughs> Be honest, no. No? Okay, it is a... Anybody else? Shelter, maybe. A kennel. I think you were close there. A kennel. A kennel. Yeah, we call that the, the place where the dog lives outside. It's called a kennel. Okay. Okay, excellent. And yeah, and at the end, you can see the dog is barking again or snarling or growling. But actually, it looks like he's barking there, certainly. Okay, that was excellent. Let's move on now to... Who, who can I see next? I think I saw Stefano first. Stefano, uh, that means you've got the I next did. one. Hi, hi. Yes, I did. Uh, if you've got any questions for me, please ask those. First. Yes, I oh, have, cool. I have, because uh, during uh, my exercises, I I came across some something that uh, I would like to to talk to talk to you about. Okay. And um, uh, just a moment, because I took picture of. Uh, uh -huh. So I I have this this situation because. I, I want to give you some context now, or else uh, you, you can't immediately understand the situation. Um, this is uh, from uh, a, a soap opera, um, an American soap opera. And uh, there is uh, a woman uh, who is uh, talking about his wedding gown. Huh? Who is talking and about? She said, she's talking about? His wedding gown. Her wedding, his wedding her, her, his, her wedding. Her, her, sorry, sorry, her, her wedding gown. And uh, she says, Margot, who is the designer of the wedding gown, said that I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off it. Uh-huh. Okay. What, what, what I wanted to ask is, is after take my eyes off of it, because I remember that uh, there was a song... Uh, huh? Uh, I don't know if you remember. I love you, baby. Uh, I can take. <laughs> yeah, I know that I, one. <laughs> uh, I can take my eyes off of you. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what you're going to ask. Is it okay to say off of? Yeah. And uh, the <laughs> the academic or, answer or, is no, but the real answer is yeah. Loads of people do say it. <laughs> they say it all the time. Uh, so, so, <laughs> so the correct is uh, one time off, and no preposition. Yeah. Off take... the okay. It, you know, uh, uh, off, off, of. You do hear it all the time. Yeah, take my eyes off, of, uh, off of it. Uh, but really, there's no reason why the second of should be there. And I'm not sure how it's come into the language, but it is everywhere. And so natives, everywhere, natives everywhere. use it all the time. This off, of. But when you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. Or you know, it even looks strange. Like, why would you have off, of together? There are two prepositions. Uh, off is a preposition, of is a preposition. Now, I know we have phrasal verbs that are very often multi-prepositional, but really, you you know, you jump off a surface. What you start to notice as a grammar teacher, anyway, when you look at this, is you realise that any time you say off of, you mean off. <laughs> you know, take your eyes off something. Um, um, take something off the table. Take ah, something okay. off the bed. I, I, you could I, say I take something it... off of the bed, off of the table, I, and some I... people do. I thought it was the reverse. I thought that uh, the right one was with two prepositions. No, I'm glad no. to say, I'm glad to say academically, no. But it shows you what, it's a good, uh, it's a really good question because it shows you what we were talking about, what you asked about last week, which is, you know, it's true that we very often put a preposition in where we don't need one. That's and right. We do it That's all the time right. in English. And you're right that very often you do see, I can think of loads of phrasal verbs where, which have two prepositions. Yeah, look up to, look up let's, at. and um, let, you know. let, 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 Let's get rid of phrasal verb. 
<laughs> let's get yeah. let's get rid of a lot of phrasal verbs. It, <laughs> because... It's true that we have a lot of prepositions which don't need to be there. Sometimes <laughs> they add a little bit more meaning, but sometimes they're just nonsensical. And I would say that's a good example of an illogical, nonsensical. Um, we just put an extra of in there, and there's no need for it. You can just say off, yeah. And it's it's always when it's off a surface that you see that off of that you well that you hear people using off of instead of off, which is the uh, the academic version. But there are a number of other ones where we put it in and it slightly changes the meaning. So, you know, squint at somebody, look at somebody, look up at somebody, look down at somebody. You know, you can use that up or down in there as well. And it just ch slightly changes the direction. And I wouldn't mm. say that's not a wrong, you know, phrasal verb. That's correct, certainly. But off of, I consider wrong. And I say it myself sometimes. I'm well aware because I try to listen carefully for my own mistakes. And I make that mistake myself, yes. Because it's so widespread. It's so common. You said it's in that song. Yeah, yeah it's in that song. Yes, it's in the song. Everywhere. And, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I, checked, I checked the title uh -huh. just before uh, uh, connecting in, in this uh, meeting. And the, the title is "Can Takes My Eyes Off You," and and, and, <laughs> okay, instead, yeah, yeah, and yeah. instead, in the song, she say she says, "I can take my eyes off of you." Yeah, it's better uh, for the rhythm. Off of you, yeah, it's better for the uh, rhythm. It's... <laughs> we put the preposition in because it's better for the rhythm. Uh, no, I mean seriously, um, you, that that shows a lot as well. Just that now, this, fact. This, this, that this for is the title, what, they get it right. Yeah, and they think oh, this. This is what right. uh, I, I thought also. Uh, about the other question that I I, I, I made you two times uh, ago, uh, when I asked you about the useless prepositions, and in my mind it was for uh, uh, phonetical reasons because there is no semantic reason, there is no syntactical reason, there is no morphological reason. So I thought this this must be for uh, uh, the rhythm of the um, <laughs> of the language uh, because uh, if, if if you don't have any other meaning, it means that is for the rhythm, for the music of, of the language. English teachers should correct it, and, and I do correct it when I hear it, but I don't hear foreign students making that mistake <laughs> for, for strange <laughs> reasons, but I, I hear natives making that mistake very often, yeah, including myself, certainly. And it's just, then, once you've heard it a lot, you start saying it yourself as well, and saying, off of, uh, yeah, like it's normal, jump off of something, yeah, well, walk off of something. My, I'm, I'm sure my, my Italian ear uh, feels uh, more right off of. I, I must okay, say this. Okay, yes. I don't know why. <laughs> That's but good. My... <laughs> yeah, that means you're getting to native level. That does. That means Says you this. are speaking at the very know, top because, level. <laughs> no, I think that because I'm Italian. Because uh, well, also in Italian we use an uh, articulate preposition, which is combined of uh, article and uh, preposition all together. So okay. in my in my brain, I need two. Uh, in uh, that okay, case, yeah, so okay, I uh, and, uh, it, uh, it sounds better. It translates nicely to the Italian. Yes. I see. Yeah, yes. it, it, where off of actually sounds. No, quite no, no. Reasonable. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm very far from native le level. And yeah, anyways, and we do, you know, there are, there's the opposite kind of situation as well, where we have into <laughs> and out of, and I think that's where off of comes from. Probably out of, which is correct. Yeah, you walk ah, me, into uh, something yes. and you walk out of something, um, and and very often those two, when it's into and out yeah. of. In speech, you're out of touch. I am out of time. Yeah, and so uh, there yeah, is a, the, the, there is a song by uh, uh, Daryl Oates, and uh, I, 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 it's it's a popular nineteen uh, eighties uh, song. Uh -huh. You're out of time. I, I'm I'm out of touch. Okay, yeah, uh, so uh, beautiful song. Out of, beautiful out of. song. And you know, with with those two, we actually very often miss the of and the two. So you get out of a car, you get out a car. You get into a car, you get in a car. And so with those two, we actually very often miss it, miss the uh, um, prepositions. Although, you know, I wouldn't actually call it a mistake to say get in the car. I think it's perfectly good English. And so it's just something to remember that out of and into are very often shortened to out and in, in phrasal verbs of movement. Then, then, Dave, I, I have another, and I, I'm uh, wrapping my brain around it. Because... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, plenty of time that I wanted to ask this because in a lot of video uh, and I, I keep asking myself why it's like this uh, the, why the, the is phrase it like is, this why, is it, why like is it like this the, 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 sentence, the sentence is this she likes you and you kind of like her too uh -huh. so 
it's clear that the, she likes you and you kind of like her too. It's clear that after kind of, like is a verb. But since uh, of is a preposition, it, it's supposed to be there a noun, not a verb. Good point. Uh, <laughs> because because I, I always, always I, I, I hear this, uh, because she likes you and you kind of liking her, uh, it should be, but it's wrong. But the rule says that after preposition, you need object. So I'm now, quite curious to see if kind of is, a, as a, is written down as an adverb in the dictionary, because really it's being used as an adverb. You're right. When you say kind of likes or sort of likes, then kind of or sort of are being used as an adverb. And so I'm quite curious to see if uh, kind of is, is labelled as an adverb. It is. It is labelled as an adverb in Wiktionary. Um, so I don't know. You know, I, it's a two. I consider it a two-word adverb. The way the way that we use it is actually it's an adverb. And remember that sometimes you get kind of compound um, adverbs. And I would think of and it as this, a compound adverb. Finally, finally, this explains everything. Because, because you know, uh, I, I I agree. Of is usually a preposition, but not in kind of or sort of. Because we use sort why. of the same way. Because I I, I was always uh, listening kind of go, kind of uh, a, a word. So I was, I was t telling myself, my off is a preposition and there isn't a gerund after. It's supposed to be a gerund, not a, another word. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, now, now it is clear. I think it can be used as an adjective as well when you say it's a kind of... Yeah, because we say it like that as well. A kind of car, a kind of... I suppose then it's a noun. No, then yeah, yeah, then you can think of all as a preposition. You can there a kind of car, a kind that's of. That's why we do. That's we why. use it like that as well. And then it, yeah, uh -huh. it's more like a, a like a compound adjective still. But we just say kind of. It is a type of a kind of. And then, then I, have, I I have this last but not the least because I have another. But then uh, too 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 much time, uh -huh. and uh, it's this. Uh, I found this this uh, this construction. I like it very much. How long have you been working here? This is simple, no? How long have you been go working here? This, uh -huh. it's not just how long have you been working here. This is for how long have you been working here? So, yeah, yeah it kind of makes sense that somebody might say that, but we don't usually, for how long have you been working? I don't see it as a mistake again. And it's just because the four, you know, you can say I have been working here three years, or you can say, I have been working here for three years. You can put the four in, but we very but, often... But uh, I thought that uh, how long uh, meant already for how long. So no need... I agree. I agree. I agree. I do. That's I agree. And why. that's why we don't use it. Yeah, it's why we because, don't use it. Because this, this uh, it sounds to me like it was an Italian talking. Because in Italian... We have uh, uh, quanto tempo, which is how long. But if you want, if you want to say for how long, we say we, we say per quanto tempo. So we put the preposition before how long. And uh, but every time I listen this question, I always listen. How long have you been here? So without for. In this case. I found I found four, so I was asking myself. Hey, yeah, why I mean, like this? It, you're right not to not to use it. The most common way to do it is just say how long, and it's already in how long of four. Um, but with the other way, where you're giving the answer, you can put the four in, or you can miss it out. And I think we very often miss out four when we're saying how long. Yeah, I've been living here three years. Some people will put it in. I've been living here for three years. Some people uh -huh. will miss it. Um, it's more or less become optional. And I think in spoken English, definitely it's optional. You know, in written okay. English, perhaps it's worth putting it in just in case. Um, but in spoken English, I think we very often drop it. Okay, okay. That's it. Really good That's question, it, Stefano. Yeah, excellent. I'm glad you're asking about these things because I agree. I mean, especially with the prepositions, I think they're really tricky. I do. And you have my sympathies for that reason. <laughs> um, I think with phrasal verbs, they're really tricky. And don't forget with listen, because I think you just missed it there. But whenever you listen to this, you've got to put the two in there before the object. Um, ah, okay. It's always a dip, it's very uh, fixed, that preposition with listen. But if you mean here, then there's no uh, there's no preposition with here. You, know, you hear something, but you listen to something. Ah, it's yes, yes, okay. it's okay. Let's go it's on okay. to Dylan. I saw Dylan next, and so Dylan, can you hear us? 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Excellent. Are you doing you good? Uh, I'm good. I couldn't join the last lesson because I was in a bachelorette party with my friends. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, huh? uh, forget what we call it now. <laughs> the opposite of a stag party. Um. <laughs> you did you say bachelorette party? Bachelorette. Yes. Bachelorette. Okay. Party. Okay. Good. <laughs> What's the girls' party called? How can I... hen party? Hen party. Hen, 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 hen party. <laughs> I couldn't remember it for a second there. I was going to have to ask for, for Kenneth to help us. Uh, <laughs> and no idea. It just gone. Sometimes the word just goes from your head. But yeah, a yeah. stag party and a hen party in the UK. Um, in, in the US, they certainly say a bachelor party. Um, and I don't know what they say for the girls, but maybe bachelorette. <laughs> Possibly exactly that. <laughs> I uh, saw hen party also, also when I searched for the, <laughs> for, uh, the words. So what uh, did you do for the hen party? Uh, actually, it was in near the seaside. We had pictures with a beautiful sunset. <laughs> and Excellent. We, uh, we danced and celebrate the last, uh, the bride's last day of uh, as a <laughs> single. <laughs> as a single girl, yeah, as a single girl, woman. And Good. then. Uh, we uh, ate uh, delicious foods and then delicious food. We usually food. Always... Oh, yeah, it's always and... uncountable. And then we had a, a pyjama party after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> and we have had lunch, uh, had din uh, had breakfast in the morning, and we went to sea, swim. Uh, went swimming. Swim. Yes. It was uh, good temperature. Yeah, it was hot. Yes, <laughs> quite hot. Yeah. Nowadays, I cannot stand the temperature. <laughs> I imagine maybe 40 degrees in Turkey, yeah, something uh, yes, like that. Sometimes 30 plus, uh, usually 30 plus, 35, 38, and sometimes 41. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I would find it hard to bear that kind of heat. But still, if you've got the beach near you, then I suppose that, that compensates. Yes, I <laughs> had to come back and start my work. <laughs> In the uh, in the beginning of the week, so at, at the beginning of the week, yeah, just always it's an at if it's the beginning of, and it's an in if you just mean in the beginning, comma, <laughs> yeah, basically, but at the beginning of something. Okay, you, would you like to do this picture for us? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So, what can you see? But, but please ask questions if you have any. Okay. First, there is a. Um... Royal man, I'm not sure, or he has a wig and he's a uh, different custom. Maybe he's a actor. I don't know. Good. Yeah, I think so. I think they're on stage. It, it's look like he's on the stage. Uh, and there's a, also another man uh, who takes picture of the uh, actor. Good. Who takes and a picture? He poses uh, for the man in front of him, uh, and the other people's maybe audience or the director or the other uh, per people who works in the backstage. Uh, who work? Backstage. Yeah, the people who work backstage. backstage that's good. Uh, watch them, uh, and this, in the second picture, uh, there's a. Football player, I don't know how can we say uh, his position in English. Does anybody know? Goalkeeper, no, maybe. Goalkeeper. Good, good. Goalkeeper. You do know, you do know, yeah. <laughs> there is a huge goalkeeper <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, he looks very aggressive and angry. Maybe <laughs> he uh, couldn't... Uh, uh, block the goals i don't know okay, yeah, and maybe. His, his knee is uh, bruised Good. and and there is another person who uh, takes picture of the goalkeeper good yeah or something maybe same person uh, who takes the picture of the uh, actor Good. Uh, i don't know uh, and in the third uh, illustration the same guy i guess takes the picture of the crowd that maybe in the concert i don't know excellent or the pro, uh, in the there is crowd who protest 
something, Good. maybe taxes <laughs> nowadays. Good, yeah, actually, I want to protest taxes angry. of our country. <laughs> I understand. Understood. Uh, maybe he's a journalist. Good, uh, good. And what's he? What, what's he doing? What is he attached to? Uh, what did he climb? Attached to a street lamp. Good, a street lamp. Yeah, a lamp post, a street lamp. Excellent. Uh, and. He's quite athletic because his posture is <laughs> difficult to stand. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and he also takes the um, picture of the soldier. Good. Yeah, he takes uniform. takes a photo. He uh, takes uh, a photo. Though. He takes a photo. Take a he takes photo a photo of the mm -hmm. uh, soldier who wears his uh, formal uniform, maybe for the specific occasion or celebration. Uh, and he also takes picture of the ladies at the seaside with their swimsuits, their bikinis. Good. And he also take picture of the different uh, sea creatures like fish. Maybe I don't know <laughs> yeah. the kind of fish, but he has a, it has a huge tooth, teeth, maybe <laughs> shark. <laughs> Not excellent. Like a shark, but. Maybe strange film, but Diana, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and he also very adventurous person because he takes pictures uh, to attach the uh, plane in a and security and safety way. <laughs> in an unsafe way, unsafe, unsafe, unsafe. way. Well, not, yeah, but I want to remind everyone of that. That safe and unsafe are the adjectives, and safety is the noun. Maybe he's. Adrenaline addicted person because Good. <laughs> he takes different <laughs> pictures in a different situation that I cannot imagine myself, and he oh uh, he also take picture of the um, huge ship Good. anchor yeah. I don't know uh, maybe ferry boat uh, or cruise Good. on the top of the kind of bomb. <laughs> I don't know the uh, item that he is. Sitting. Oh, okay. I think it's not. Uh, it, well, uh, it is a type of bomb. Uh, what do we call this one that sits in the water or underground? Yes, but it's mine. Knows, no. a mine, mine, a mine, yes. exactly. Mine, 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 and it's very risky. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> understand his mindset at all. And <laughs> yes, I think it's the uh, his. Last picture, <laughs> last last <laughs> photo, and last adventure because he uh, is in heaven. Good, I guess <laughs> I <think laughs> with so. the with the ladies, angels. Good, good, excellent. <laughs> and how can he manage the being in the heaven in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't think he because deserves to maybe go to he, because uh, the time exploded. Save a country in his previous life. <laughs> Okay, excellent. And what is he doing there? Oh, he's still taking a photo, actually. I thought he was begging or praying he, or something first. But... He's really professional. <laughs> Good. What, what can we call someone like uh, this guy? I mean, what kind of personality adjective would we use for somebody who's Ambitious, doing what he's doing? Maybe. Ambitious, maybe. Ambitious, maybe. Excellent. What about someone, Passionate. Who's, <laughs> someone who's never afraid? Bold. Bold, brave. Yeah, bold brave, is good. Fearless. Brave is good. Courageous. I think yes. I heard somebody say. Kind of crazy, <laughs> I guess. Audacious. Yeah, audacious. outrageous. <laughs> Sorry? Audacious. Uh, aud audacious. 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 Great, yeah. Audacious. 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 That's a good word. Have I spelt that right? I'm not sure. Check it, Kenny. <laughs> audacious. <laughs> I'm not sure, mind. actually. It, it looks <laughs> okay. It's okay, yeah. It looks okay. Good. for me. <laughs> But yeah, you could say he's out of his mind, certainly. Yeah, he is out of his mind. That's a good expression for, you know, when somebody goes crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, out of his mind, not out of my... No, I'm not out of my mind. Out of his mind. He's out of his mind doing something like that. And yeah, we say out of. So out of is good. Off of is the one which we should be avoiding. <laughs> Although, again, you know, in spoken English, I don't. I wouldn't think it's a bad thing to use just because the natives use it all the time. But yeah, avoid it for academic stuff. That was brilliant, Dylan. Fantastic. We're going to go on to the next one now, which is also a photographer. And uh, I think I saw Makita next. So, Makita, are you there, Makita? I'm I'm here. Excellent. Hello, Hello how are you doing? Everyone. You good? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. How are, how, how are you? 
Uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's been a very nice week. It's been very sunny all week. So I've had a chance to go out on the water. Um, I was also out on the water recently and I like getting out mm. on the water. It's lovely. Um, mm. Have you been getting up to anything recently? Anything interesting? Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, I, I, I've been to, to, to the shops uh, lately and uh, I, 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 I've been out for a walk uh, and not, not, nothing really special. Uh, and it's uh, it's uh, it's quite uh, uh, hot uh, these days. Uh, um, if my smartphone uh, shows uh, the correct temperature, uh -huh. it's uh, twenty nine uh, degrees. That's nice. Yeah, uh, well, I don't think. Uh, nice, anything, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it it, it, it uh, the weather has become uh, hotter, hotter okay, than yeah. it, I see. Than it than it uh, it, it was uh, a week ago. Yeah, Finland so, is, is definitely hotter than I thought it was, and that's interesting. I thought it was much colder, uh -huh. if I'm honest. I didn't realize uh -huh. you got up to 29 uh -huh. regularly in the summers. Uh, I haven't m m monitored uh, the uh, other regions of the country, and I, I can't tell you for sure what temperature is, is, is some, somewhere else. Uh, but in this part of Finland, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, yeah, I think uh, uh, we, we can say... Uh, that uh, summer has finally come to Finland. Excellent, excellent. It's so nice when it finally gets there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, uh, night, nights are are still uh, are, are still white, or uh, yeah. I, I I don't know the correct name for uh, nights for this uh, phenomenon. Light, you uh, say it correctly, I think. Yeah, lights are still quite nights are still quite light. Yeah, nights are light. Yeah, you know, so it's light, light. Yeah, I think you say yeah, it well. It's... Yeah, that's clear. Okay, uh -huh. would you like to tell a story that you've already read or watched, or would you like to do the pictures? What do you prefer? Uh, uh, I, I think uh, this time I, I, I will do, uh, do, do some picture or this particular picture. I, yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll try, uh, try to describe. I, I think I haven't done any, uh, any pictures for a long time. For yeah, a long time. excellent. Well, it'll be good for the vocabulary. Try and get as many words yeah. as you can out of each picture. Yeah, yeah. Because usually, uh, when I uh, tell uh, you all uh, some 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 stories, uh, I usually prepare them. At least I I, I think think over of what I want to say uh, be, be, beforehand. Um, so uh, yeah, and uh, uh, it uh, it may be uh, a a good. Uh, uh, a, 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 a good way to uh, I don't know uh, to to present myself maybe uh, for all of you, but uh, yeah. To introduce uh, myself, it, I would it, say to introduce to, to, myself. To, 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 to introduce myself, yes. But it's it's not good in considering uh, that. Uh, well, uh, I I can't really speak spontaneously spontaneously. Um, yeah, it's always good to practice that spontaneous speech yeah. as well, isn't it? Spontaneous it's, it's, speech. It's something uh -huh. that needs practice like anything else. It really is. OK, so what do you see in that first picture? What can you see? Uh, I see uh, a man uh, sitting uh, by uh, by the bay, maybe. Good. Is it? Is, yeah. is it? It could be bay? at the bay. Yeah, it could be a bay. Could be a bay. bay He's sitting at the bay. Bay. Uh, he, he is sitting on uh, two... Uh, Boxes, boxes good yeah two boxes or well, they look like two drawers boxes. to me just because he's uh, yeah, he, he he is smoking uh, he's smoking a pipe, pipe. good okay. smoking pipe what can you see he in the background uh, he has a cap uh and he he has he has mustache uh and i i think uh, he may he is a sailor maybe maybe uh, th this is only my assumption. Uh, in the background, in the background, uh, there is a, a sailboat or a boat. Excellent. Uh, uh, and uh, two houses. Uh, I, I guess uh, one of the houses is uh, is uh, um, maybe a warehouse. Good. A warehouse. Good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. this is uh, the infrastructure related to uh, this. Uh, I don't know bay or. Uh, can we say shore for the place? You can say shore for any part of the uh, coast. Um, and it is when we're talking about the land part of the coast here, yeah? the, the shore, certainly. Yeah. And uh, uh, so, what, do, what do we say? Do you know the word we use for when a boat is 
parked um, at import, you might say, or something like that. It's quite a difficult word. I'm not sure that anyone here will know it. Anchored. Anchored. Good. You can say it's anchored. Good. I like that. That's anchored. a very good. Excellent. Yeah. Or moored to moor, a mooring, which is basically a, a, where the boat is parked. I think, you know, like, don't. Say and the, the, park, there is, uh, there, if, if I'm not mistaken, there is an expression, exception in English, uh, fresh off the boat, fresh off the boat. Fresh off the boat, yeah, it's an expression, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, 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 it 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 can be uh, used uh, mm -hmm. in uh, this particular uh, to describe this particular uh, picture, but I I, I think because we are uh, it, it deals with, uh, uh, I don't know, sea, sea, and uh, there are a lot of uh, sea all... idioms. You, I think, lots and lots of sea idioms, seafaring idioms. I suppose there was a long mm -hmm. time uh, for a long period of time, seafaring was a whole world of its own, and I think we used a lot of the. Yeah, the idioms and expressions from from uh, sailing. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this man uh, is sitting, and uh, uh, I I don't know, maybe he is uh, having a rest, having a rest, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 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 another another uh, person appears uh, out of nowhere. This Good. seems to be to be out of nowhere. Uh, it's a young man. Uh, he is uh, very uh, curious. Curious seems to be curious. Good. Yeah, he is holding a camera, photo camera. Good. His... Just camera. Just camera. Don't say photo camera. camera. Just camera. He's holding a uh, camera. Ca camera in his hands. Good. And uh, he's looking directly at uh, uh, the man. Uh, and uh, maybe he wants to ask him about something or. To... Good. He's, 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 uh, so next picture shows. Uh, what what do we uh, call that 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 object behind the sailor in the second picture? What's that called? Barrel. Good, excellent. Yeah, there's a barrel behind him. I just wanted to get that word because I know it's one which is quite quite useful. The beer barrels, for example, in the pub. A barrel, and I think a person who makes barrels are Cooper. Cooper. Maybe. Cooper. Yeah, Kenny yeah. knows. Kenny's nodding, and I'm saying, okay, yeah, Kenny knows. <laughs> I've yeah, never that's heard that. Cooper, yeah, for a person who makes battles. Cooper. Wow, well, yeah. I know. New word. Uh, I know. I, I know that because uh, there is an American writer, uh, James Fenimore Cooper. Oh, okay. Uh, and okay. and I, I I yes I was Cooper. I I was uh, curious uh, what his uh, last name meant, and okay. I I was look, looking up the, the dictionary and uh, found out that yes, a person who makes barrels is uh, is called this this name or okay, yeah. uh, a, a that's Cooper. where his name comes from because they were barrel makers. Yeah, uh -huh. so and uh, this uh, this writer uh, is known for his. Uh, uh, a big, uh, big novel, uh, The Last of Mohicans. Uh huh. Good story. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, 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 there are uh, five novels uh, that uh, uh, are interconnected by one one protagonist, or uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let us. As uh, usual, start his own <laughs> stories. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I lose myself speaking about uh, some something unrelated to. Yeah, yeah you can uh, say I digress. Before. I digress. Yeah, I digress. D but digress. All. Yeah, I digress. Digress. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, this uh, 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 photographer or uh, cameraman or. Uh, uh, who, 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 uh, uh, yes, uh, this this young man um, is taking a picture uh, of uh, the man sitting and uh, doing not nothing. He is uh, like a statue. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, he uh, angles. Yeah, uh, yeah. He uh, he he kneels. He kneels down. Or uh, he, he he kneels uh, to. I, I wouldn't know, say to, he crawls to, there just because it's on his belly. Crawl, yeah, crawl, if you're that crawl, close. Crawls. Uh, to zoom to uh, mm, to to take a close picture. To yeah, take a, a, close, a, a pic, close up. Pic, we often say a close up. A, a, to a take close up. Close up. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, the next uh, uh, the next uh, picture shows. Uh, uh, this photo photographer uh climbing climbed up climbed uh, okay he, he he has climbed up on the barrel 
good uh, on the barrel and uh, again he he's taking a picture of uh, this uh, of the of the sitting man's back good uh, uh so uh, <laughs> um uh, l later he uh he is standing in front of him good and t taking his uh his front front his, his picture in front uh his uh, in, from his, in his front of him, yeah. We in front of him. He's taking the picture yeah. from in front of him or opposite. It's from, often used here. Opposite. From, from in, in in front of of him. Yeah. And uh, the man the, the man uh, doesn't move and doesn't show any signs of life. I don't know. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. Uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, it creates a dangerous situations uh when uh, uh this man uh, is uh, uh uh is standing uh on the edge of uh, uh of the bay of yeah of the bay uh, or pier, of the pier of the pier, pier, pier of the pier, pier, of the pier. pier. excellent pier, yeah, standing pier. on the edge of the pier on, on the edge yeah. of the pier and there is a metal metal circle or metal uh, on the ground, on the a metal ground. ring, I would usually say that metal, me 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 metal ring on the ground, uh -huh. uh, and his uh, one of his uh, his I think his left uh, left leg is uh, is trapped, maybe is trapped. Okay, good. Or, uh, he loses and, uh, balance. Yeah, uh, he loses his the, balance. Yeah, yeah, he loses his balance uh, when. Uh -huh. He loses his balance. Uh, he starts uh, falling down uh, into the water, and he, uh, in this, uh, in the meantime, his camera is uh, uh, flying, uh, flying over to the man. Uh, he's sitting, uh, he's sitting on the boxes, and he, he, he catches it. He he he's able to catch it, and oh, he's uh, able to grab. Uh, to, to oh, grab. Sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry. To catch the camera, you're right. Sorry, he's able to catch it. Sorry, uh, he's able to catch uh, catch the camera, and he is doing uh, the uh, exact exact the same thing that uh, this uh, 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 this drowning uh, this uh, now drowning photographer. Uh, uh, I don't know what was what, what was doing uh, a couple of mom moments ago. Good, uh, good. I would say he does the same thing rather than he is doing. He, and it really, I mean, he, it, he, when you're t t mm -hmm. talking about a picture in isolation, yes, use present continuous. This is exactly what I was saying to mm -hmm. Igiev at the start of the class. Just uh, if you're telling a story, it's better to say use simple, 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 and say so. A guy sits mm -hmm. at the bay. Um, a mm -hmm. photographer comes up to him, asks to take mm -hmm. his photo. He agrees. Well, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't reply. Um, and, mm -hmm. and just do it all in simple, just because it's one thing, then the next thing, then the next thing, then the next thing. It's consecutive events. But I agree that if it's one picture you're doing on its own, you should describe all of the uh, actions in continuous because they're in the middle of the action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. If, it's it, a, if, if, it's, if it's a sequence of... Uh, pictures, a sequence of uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, if events, events, actions. Uh, so then it's uh, then then we we have uh, uh, according to uh, the rules of grammar, we have to use uh, present simple. We usually to, use present simple, yeah, to we describe use. events. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it, it's when, storytelling. It's storytelling, basically. You're when you're when mm -hmm. you're telling a story, you can do it all in past tenses if you prefer or all mm -hmm. in present tenses. And then mm -hmm. it sounds quite strange to use continuous for one thing, then the next thing, then the next thing, because that's never how continuous is used for consecutive. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Continuous is always in the middle of that action. And with one picture, you certainly need continuous. But as soon as it's a story of pictures, like a cartoon, you ought to be using simple for each action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it because they're mm -hmm. consecutive. So okay. uh, the the final scene uh, shows us uh, uh, this uh, sailor, aforementioned sailor, or before mentioned sailor. Aforementioned, aforementioned, aforementioned sailor, 
who has just uh, caught uh, the camera uh, or, and uh, he he's taking a picture of uh, of a man uh, of uh, the the photo photographer yeah photographer but remember that if this is the last thing in the story we say and he takes and then finally he takes a photo of the man who um mm -hmm. the, of the journalist or of the photographer who has fallen in the water or who is drowning who, you might want to say who, 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 who drama. Drama. <laughs> yeah who has who has uh, that's more dramatic uh, <laughs> yeah he, uh, he uh, almost it, loses mm -hmm. his camera <laughs> and his life maybe <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah yeah it's it's, it's 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 unclear what he is afraid uh, of uh, the most uh, his life his own life or his camera good uh, what because, he's afraid uh, for judging <laughs> ju judging by uh, the uh, the looks or by uh, the way he he's looking at uh, the sailor uh, maybe he's uh, he, he can't swim can swim maybe good um or... i want to make one more point here with this story which is he is afraid for his life and he is afraid for his camera mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he's afraid for the sake of for the benefit of those things you you can't mm -hmm. be afraid of your own life i mean not many people are afraid of their own life anyway but you can mm -hmm. be afraid of things certainly and so you're afraid of the dark you're afraid of monsters you're afraid uh -huh. of losing all your money um but it's going to be a bad thing afraid of which you want to avoid whereas you're afraid for the camera you're afraid for your life um it usually is used with life but i can see i would use four with the camera if you want to say oh he's afraid for his camera he's afraid for his life yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay let's keep mm -hmm. going well done makita that was fantastic let's go on to the next story which is also a photographer Thank you. um so let's go on to who is next i see uh sorry, i see kenneth next kenneth do you want to do a story today, Kenneth, and give us some of your uh, vocabulary? It would be good to get someone else giving vocabulary as well. Well, this is this is my first uh, experience of uh, narrating. It. We just want as many, as, you know, as much juicy vocabulary as possible, Kenneth. So any uh, interesting phrases, because remember that they're going to get bored just listening to the kind of phrases we use in South End. They want to hear the phrases that people use in Donegal as well. Okay. So use as many as possible, lots of idioms, expressions, anything you can come up with. Yeah. We have a fellow with a camera. Uh-huh. And he's taking a, a photograph of this lady who is posing for him. Good, good, good. And then he moves on to another subject. Good, his, excellent, excellent. Yeah, for his... For his uh, photographic uh, collection. Good, okay. Uh, he's very inclusive. He's taking now, taking a photograph of a pig. Okay, so not just the girls, but animals yeah, as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's very inclusive. He likes uh, portraits of people and animals. Good, excellent. <laughs> So now he's he's asking this lady, would she uh, pose for a photograph? Good. And she's glad to oblige him. Excellent. Excellent to oblige somebody. Yeah, I like it. Excellent. Now he's doing a family photograph with uh, all the different generations gathered together. Good. And... Uh, He's taking a, I don't know what's happening here. I I thought with that lady's hat first that he had gone abroad, that he was in Germany or somewhere. I think you're right. I think he goes to a different country and they wear different clothes in that country. Oh, I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, because, yeah, the little boy has a, a Dutch uh, sailor's hat. Good. Okay, good. And... Uh, now he's going to take an action photograph. <laughs> What is she doing? She's uh, she's diving Good. off a diving board. Excellent, excellent. And uh, he's still busy. He 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 has found another subject for his for his collection. He's, he he has discovered two swans. Uh, 
Brentford. Swimming in the in the lake. Excellent. And uh, what happens next? <laughs> <laughs> Did he trip over? No. The result of his <laughs> yeah, day's work, a hard day's work. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's. So what's happened to the photos? Oh, Kenny? Uh, oh the. He... He mixed. He mixed up the the, the film. Got mixed up, and his good. photographs are all spoiled. Good, good. Yeah, to get mixed up. Yeah, when so with especially that yeah. that, that particular photo, he, yeah. he's mixed two together. So to get mixed up, very common phrase. Uh, and again, it can mean to get confused, or it can mean to get two things the wrong way round. Yeah. Um, you can get mixed up, for example, if you've got a pair of twins and you mix up their names, and so get mixed up is like get confused, but. You can also mix something up, mix two twins up and call one the wrong name, that kind of thing. Okay, Maybe we'll call... he has unique tests and he try exper experimental for this co collection. <laughs> Good, yeah. So when he was developing the photos, yeah, when he was developing them, perhaps he <laughs> experimented angles, with some new uh, way of developing techniques. them. Techniques. <laughs> Yeah, or, because or... if you look if you look carefully at the second picture, it looks like a Picasso. Look, uh, there is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so he's done it on purpose. It does. I agree. It does actually look very much like, like a Picasso. Picasso. Well, he <laughs> used different techniques to <laughs> combine the different picture. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, perhaps he yeah. did it on purpose. How? What would you call this one, Ken? If the third picture, how could we say that? How would we describe it? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Use an adjective. It's the lady's gone. Trembling, it's quivering. Okay, she's quivering, she's trembling. Yeah, yeah I thought it was just the picture got, had got fuzzy. It was a fuzzy picture. Sorry. That's what I was thinking I of. Can I was thinking. Blurry Sorry, what was that, Dylan? Say that again. Blurry. Sorry. Blurry. Blurry. Blur. Blurry. 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 Good. Blurry. Good. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that is a brilliant suggestion. Blurry is better than fuzzy, I think. It's better. Um, yeah, a blurry... distorted maybe distorted sorry, distorted picture. Dis Nariman yeah. had his hand up as well. Sorry, Nariman, go on. Um, yeah, it was uh, the same word about blurry, but uh, oh, also okay. a question. Uh, yeah, can you please uh, take course pictures again up up there? Scroll yeah. up, yeah. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Uh, uh, about Giza, isn't it about a person who's trying to seduce and seduce some someone? Not necessarily. Uh, not in South End. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about Donny Gould, but um, a geezer is just a guy, a bloke, a fellow. Um, it's quite. Uh, it's very slang, geezer. Very yeah. slang. I mean, fellow. I don't consider slang or a guy really. You know, I don't really consider it slang. It's just informal. But um, bloke and geezer, I think, are kind of more like slang. But you will see them in books, definitely. And perhaps, he, perhaps he's a. Yeah, I, I... I, I I also have a question. Uh, is is, is blog a uh, law of respect? I mean, uh, using for someone. It's informal. Or uh, I I would say bloke is informal and geezer is informal. So they are for when you're down the pub with your friends. They're not really for the uh, you know um, academic essays. Um, you wouldn't use them. You know, you wouldn't say if you were doing a scientific investigation. You certainly wouldn't say we asked twenty blokes. You know, you'd, you'd say twenty men. And so it is informal, but uh, nonetheless, it's very common. And so it's definitely worth knowing. Thank okay, you so very much. Good, good question. Hey, Marl. I think that was Hey, Marl. Yeah. <laughs> um, OK, excellent. So I think we'll stop there. But well done, Kenneth. Well done for that pic picture. Let's keep going okay. now on to um, who did I see next? I think I saw uh, Alicia in Belgium. Can you hear us, Alicia? Yes, I hear you, Dave. Excellent. Nice to see you again. Yes. Well, hear, hear you again. <laughs> So tell us what I imagine you want to do uh, another picture, yeah? Yes, it's fine. Excellent. So tell us what you can see in this picture. Um, About a very I famous see, horse from mythology. I see a man on a unicorn. Good. Yes, or a horse, with, uh -huh. but I I think it's called a unicorn. I think you're English. right with a horse with. What does this horse have? A horse with. Um. What do we call these? Wings. Wait, a Pegasus. Yeah. yeah, a horse with wings. It's Pegasus. It is it's the famous uh, horse from mythology. Yeah, Pegasus. Yes. 
Okay, so the man is sitting on a horse with wings. Yeah. I think maybe in heaven. I yeah. don't know. And then uh, on the next picture, the man is very happy. Yeah. And the horse won or... It's running. Yeah, or the horse runs. Horse the horse run. runs. Or Sorry, I've just told running. you. The, the horse, horse runs. Uh, better if it's a story, then the horse starts running or runs. Yeah, yeah. Just the horse runs. Then on the next picture, the man is holding some uh -huh. an instrument. Good, good. It's an old instrument. Uh, do you know what it um, is? It begins with an L. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what it is, but it, I don't know in English how, how we call it. I, I'm not sure about this, but I think it's a lyre. I think we call it a lyre. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. it's a very old instrument. So the man is holding a lyre and he he is he is sitting uh, on the horse and the ho horse runs and then um the man plays music on the lyre, and good. then the horse stop. stops. Stops, good, stops. stops. And then he fall over or something, or there, there is something in the, uh, how you call it, the clouds. Good, and good. Maybe on the next picture, the man and the horse, um, yeah, how we call it. Um, You've got a difficult one here. What what do we what can we say for what happens here to the cloud? A bomb. Maybe okay. there is a bomb and they they go okay. to the clouds and then. So how do we say how would we say it with the cloud though the cloud because we would we can't say the cloud bombs we say the cloud. What do we say here. Um. There's one beginning with X. Exploded. Explodes. Yeah, the cloud explodes. Yes. Um, you could say that, uh, I, I think it's like the cloud is pumped up with air and you might say that the cloud, ah, yes. you might say the cloud, uh, can you think, of, what, what would we say with a bubble? Um, so we say with a bubble, the bubble, the bubble b b burst, yeah. burst, bursts, bursts, the cloud bursts, bursts. the bubble bursts. Yeah, we use oh. it with burst. we use it with economics as well. When okay. the, you know, you could say the bu the bubble bursts in that kind of sense. But yeah, uh, the cloud bursts, the bubble bursts. Yes. Okay, so the cloud explodes or bursts. Good. And Good. then the the Sorry. man and the horse are looking at the clouds. Good. With, uh, who has burns? Which and which has burst? Which has burst? burst? Which has burst? And then on the next picture, the horse is uh, the cloud is going to uh, how we call it? We say going down. You're using the right verb. But the cloud down. goes down. The cloud so goes the down. The horse is putting on it, and then it goes down. Good. And then... You can also say deflates, if you want, which also means when the air okay. goes out of a tyre yes. or something like that. But yeah, the cloud deflates. So the cloud uh, deflates, and then on the next picture, it's like uh, um, a bike Good. when the horse is on it. Good. And then... Uh, it goes smaller and smaller, the cloud, and then it's not a horse anymore, but it's a bike who who has which which has which, which has has, uh, ha has it. So the man is sitting on a bike, but no, not on a horse. So what, what do we what do we call it uh, on a bike? Because I thought you were going to say this word, and it's a great word to use here. It's a bike which has a or a tire which has a what do we call it? A noun. Um, and it's when you uh, when you go over something sharp, when you ride over something sharp. Let's all... Puncture. Puncture. Puncture is what I want. That's good. Good, Makita. Good. Uh, um, flat or a flat tire. Good. You can just say it's a bike which has a flat tire. Yeah, a bike which has a flat tire or a, a tire which has a puncture. A bike which has a flat tire. So the man is stopping stopping with his bike and he is looking at his wheel good uh, what's happening and 
he repairs his wheel on good, his bike. Good. And good, good, excellent. The horse was a dream. Good, I think so. I think it was when, when he's, I understand this, I sometimes ride a bike. And when I ride a bike, I do feel like I'm riding on the back of Pegasus sometimes as I fly down the road. So I think it was just his imagination. Yeah, and in his the end, imagination yes. and he is dreaming about it, but it's his bike. Do you he's enjoy cycling? So, sorry, cycling. Sorry. Uh, no, I don't <laughs> cycle anymore, but I do. I walk a uh, lot. So I just walk and not on a cycle. I understand you. I actually am exactly the same that nowadays I actually go hiking a lot more. Um, yes. or I like, I like going for walks. Uh, um, and we would say go for a walk, yeah, going for walks or hiking. I really enjoy yes. those too. Can and you say you can go... uh, he's on Claude 9, 9, 11, Ooh, Claude 11 or Claude 9, 9? There's the uh, idiom or... With 999, 911. 9, uh, wow. I cannot recall the exact... Uh, uh, she she means... Uh, and he's so happy. He's like Claude 9. Uh, and cloud I'm nine. Oh, on cloud be, nine, yeah, be on, be on, cloud on cloud nine or yes. cloud eleven. There's numbers. I think it's cloud <laughs> nine. I think it's cloud nine to be on cloud nine. <laughs> Kenneth saying cloud nine as well, and I think that's the one I remember. Um, seventh heaven, you can say to be in seventh heaven. Oh, yeah. Um, so there are a few idioms here. What does to be on seventh heaven mean? Actually, do you know, Kenneth? What does it mean to be in seventh heaven? To have, have be very happy. Ultimate happiness, I think. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, to, to have ultimate happiness, to achieve um, extreme joy. And Navaman, please, please jump in, Navaman. Yeah. I can see your hands up. Over the can moon. you hear me? Over the moon is good as well. Uh, yeah. Can you yeah, hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can we actually say the cloud was piercing, for example? The cloud pierced. was... Pierced. 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 The cloud was pierced. I'd yeah. still say I would more... Yeah, yeah, you certainly can. The cloud was pierced by the i would even say how then the cloud was pierced by the shoe the by the um the uh, horseshoe yeah or, or the horse's hooves the cloud was pierced and yet you can you can also say the cloud was punctured and so you can certainly say um you can use that word punctured well uh, it can be used as a verb like that you know the cloud was punctured the cloud was pierced and they're both the same Mm -hmm. um but yeah like ha like the way a bike has a flat tire it has a puncture the cloud was punctured it works as well okay any other uh idioms or Thank phrases because that's been a very good one we got a lot of uh, vocab out of that one any others that anybody wants to point out hi can i ask one question please please, please. Uh, what's the difference between fell over fell down and fell off uh, fall over is when you fall fall down is when something falls usually yeah like uh, i don't know there's a really strong storm or a really um a, a really strong winds and several t several trees fell down in the storm yeah they were blown over you could also say they were blown over or they fell down in the storm i th i think it's rare fall down you know i really do i don't think i very often use it at all i never use it for people unless they intentionally fall down in which case okay it's intentional but it's rare that you fall you know, that you fall intentionally. You normally fall unintentionally. And so I would say fall over most of the time. Fall off something, always. So you can say he fell off his bike, he fell off the chair, he fell off the wall. It's always fall off something. But fall down is certainly, in my opinion, the rarest. You know, you, you hear that one <clears throat> not as often. I hear it very often from students, but not so often from natives. Can we say fall down uh, when we are walking and we tripped some stone or the other things? And I wouldn't I fall know. Down and I, I wouldn't really? usually. I would say you. I would say you can certainly fall down the stairs to fall down something. Yeah, to fall down the stairs. I I would certainly say that that's okay to fall down the stairs. But when people use it for when they I trip think up. Your color is white because yeah I I, it just does, it, does, it does it sometimes i'm not sure why you <laughs> know the next time it doesn't do it but yeah um fall down i wouldn't use usually when people trip over i would use fall over them when fall somebody trips over heaven, maybe um fall no i would still say fall down a hot fall down something yeah to fall down a hole to fall down the stairs um that those i can certainly imagine somebody saying that yes. he fell down a hole she like fell down the stairs. <laughs> Sorry, like? 
like the Alice who who fell down a hole yeah. and started yeah. her journey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She fell down a hole, definitely down the rabbit hole. She fell down the rabbit hole, exactly. Um, so yeah, fall down something, fall off something. Idiom that I want to say up to eleven. Maybe he's up to eleven with his imagination. Can we say? Oh, you can turn something up to eleven. That, that's Extreme the one which you're thinking of. To turn something up to eleven. Um, I've heard that, certainly. And uh, the idea here is that on a volume, on a machine, on a device, it usually goes up to 10. And so if you turn something up to 11, you're making it really, really loud. And so uh, I normally think of it as an idiom, meaning to make something really, really loud. The actions? Yeah. I imagine, yeah, you can. You probably can use it more metaphorically. But I, I think of it as that volume thing, first and foremost. And yeah, I'm sure that people will use it not just to be to be louder but maybe to be more active more energetic um you know to the max to push something to the max to turn something up to 11 i, I suppose it's very similar to that to push something to the max up 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 to high dough up to high dough yeah yeah i haven't heard that one <laughs> on. yeah <laughs> i haven't heard. people are beginning to lose their mind their their, their equilibrium you know yeah, and how does it go? Can you find out that one? Go on. Uh, uh, say if a child, uh, if a, a woman was being annoyed by the child's behaviour, uh -huh. her her temperature would be rising. She'd be up to high dough. Okay, I don't know that one. Up to high dough. Okay, it's, and it's a, is it um, extremely yeah. angry? With like, the like, yeah. Is it dough like dough, like uh, from bread? just lo losing your cool? You know. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Your I, temper. Yeah, Maybe. to lose your temper. temper yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it is it spelt like that, Kenneth? Dough like uh, with bread? Dough? Do you? No, I think it might be it might be the musical reference. You know, up to high dough. Oh, okay, high okay. Dough. I've never heard that one, but oh. I know that it's going to be. Is it not like a uh, do re mi fa sol la si do? Okay, yeah, so like yeah. that dough, yes. yeah, to high dough. Do, like do, one, yeah. yeah, up to high dough. You're about to. Okay, yeah, I you're, just... You're, you're, about, you're about to go off the scale. Okay, to go off the scale, to go up to high dough. Okay, I've never heard that one, to go up to high dough, but I've got no doubt that it's out there. It's just another one of those gaps in my vocabulary, um, of which there are many. <laughs> and we're, I'm always learning new uh, phrases, new words. But yeah, to go off the scale, I've certainly heard that one as well. And yeah, to go off the scale, it's like to turn something up to 11, to go off the scale. Scales, you know, um, like something that weighs you, that measures your weight. OK, let's go on to Romelia now. I think Romelia is next. Um, and you've got this picture here. I'm sorry about the writing around it. I've actually already started writing. But um, uh, t do you want to do a story or did you want to tell us something that you've already uh, read? It's up to you, Romelia. I want to, yeah, to talk about the pictures. Like, yeah, excellent, excellent. So like what in, you... in Cambridge exam, because I'm, uh, I'm very familiar with uh, uh -huh. Cambridge exam. OK, I excellent. have my Cambridge certificate. And... <laughs> I excellent, know. excellent. <laughs> okay, so what do you see in that first picture? Mm, probably with uh, with her appearance and the mood, she made uh, made uh, his day. Good, good, excellent. Charming, I guess. Yeah. Can we say charming? Um, yeah, she. I wouldn't use it for a girl. Char. She was very. Oh, char oh maybe you could. Yeah, maybe you could. She or was... men, charming prince, like a charming prince. A Is charming, but yeah, I normally hear it for men. It if I'm honest, charming. He was enchanted by her. <laughs> yeah, he was charmed by her. You can certainly say that. Yeah, he was charmed by her, by her beauty, by her smile. Certainly. Like in a fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Okay. I can't infer from the context what uh, is he going to do, but I suppose he, he's in a rush. Good. Judging by the <laughs> the posture and uh, the way he climbed the stairs. Good. Yeah. Probably she she has Maybe a plan. This muse, can we say muse for? Yeah. Yeah, she is a muse for him. I agree. She is inspiration. Good, good inspiration. 
inspire him yeah she's an inspiration for him absolutely he was inspired by her you can also say inspired and very similar to charmed but uh yeah he was inspired by her she was an inspiration for him good yeah fine she's 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 a hidden incentive in uh, in his uh, <laughs> plan good yeah okay uh now in the the, uh, the next phase so to speak uh, he seemed to be really focused on uh, i don't know on a specific plan he good. wanted to to to, think... to came to fruition good what yeah. what is he uh, using in this picture um, who do you think he is what do you think his job is it's something that look look, look like an an old typing machine. Good, yeah, yeah. Typewriter, typewriter. Absolutely, typewriter. it's an old typewriter. Very good. What do you think his profession is? Maybe he's a uh, has a flair for writing, or maybe good, he, excellent. He's making, maybe he is really making a living from writing. Good. Writing is his bread and butter. You know? uh, excellent. I agree. Writing mm. is bread and butter. Yeah. Very good. Um. <laughs> And uh, judging by the the way he uh, he looking at the phone, maybe he's um, waiting some news of paramount importance for his uh, career uh, or contract or something like this. Yeah, good but, maybe. Uh, but um, in the second in the next picture, uh, yeah, he seems a bit all seems to be a bit of a letdown. Good, yeah. Yeah, I think this is all a distraction from his, you know, from his calling in life, as we said. The phone. Sorry? Yeah. Maybe he's distracted with the phone call. Yeah, I think it is. I think but it's distracting him. Bad news. It, yeah. I, he's got his inspiration and he needs to get back to his story. Yeah, he's a writer. This is how he makes his living, certainly. And so you don't want phone calls and things like that. You need to come down the end of the garden to your shed to get away from all of those distractions. Focus. Yeah. Keep focus. And maybe the, the news came as a surprise to him. Because, Good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Unpleasant surprise. <laughs> Good. Def <laughs> definitely. I let them. Yeah. But uh, in um, the moment, uh, uh, something seems to to be dawning on him. Good, a, good. A, a, an epiphany. I don't know. He has an like... epiphany. That's excellent. Yeah, he has an epiphany to have an epiphany. Excellent. Wait. Yeah. And good. um the scenery is um uh changing all of a sudden when the the children uh, occur in the in the, the children setting. occur, the children, what do they do? The children what are they doing uh... in this picture? Typical children. The children. Uh, I, I'm torn between. between I'm Go torn on. between saying that he's um, um, very pleased to have them around, and good. on the other hand, they seem to be a handful. Good, good. Yeah, they do look oh, like they're a handful. Very Can good. They seek for attention. They're looking for his attention. Definitely, they want his attention. They are a bit they of a crave. handful. They crave for his attention. They yeah. crave his attention. I wouldn't say for, though. They crave his attention. His attention. Yeah, no proposition. Sorry. Good, good. Yeah. Excellent. They definitely look a bit of a handful. It's a good expression, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, so he's uh, distracted again. What happens next? Uh, his uh, assistant or... Yeah... Wife, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> she should be or, his inspiration. Or his but, sister. Or... Another, another muse. Sister. Yeah, another, another muse. Yeah, another muse. The home muse. Very good. What was she bringing him? Mm, a tray with different, with a meal, maybe. Or... Excellent. Yeah. I wish my wife would do that sometimes. Uh, uh, Bring in a tray. Some... <laughs> maybe I suppose it's a mouth-watering uh, meal. Excellent. Yeah, mouth-watering meal. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. And sweet I don't... Can we say sweet treats? Sweet or... treats, yeah. Yeah, sweet treats. We do say a treat for food. And so, yeah, sweet treats. You could certainly. She's bringing him some sweet treats. Oh. 
a guilty pleasure. He, Some guilty he, pleasure. He seems to indulge <laughs> himself in this. He's world. indulging himself. Good. He's indulging himself. He's a good vocal. Yeah. Yeah. And resist the temptation. And in this um, picture, I don't know. She seems to. Maybe he is unexpected <laughs> guest. He has unexpected guests. Unexpected guests, certainly. Mm -hmm. Because he looks angry. <laughs> unwanted guests, you could also say certain <laughs> unwanted guests. Yeah, who who could be the uh I can uh, speculate could be the, the villain of his uh, next novel. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. <laughs> they could inspire him in that way. <laughs> Good. Maybe yeah. Knows? Maybe he they look old than him maybe his wife's uh, parents and his I think in yeah I think it is mother and father in law I think so it I think seems you're right. to it's be a, uh, an uphill struggle for him to 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 continue writing <laughs> good good yeah he, uh, all the uh, the events uh, hinder his um, creativity his good yeah yeah good okay and what happens in the last picture. <laughs> <laughs> mm. two, two people in the rain they are soaked yeah I think it's our writer uh, in the rain I think this is his his next piece of inspiration but I'm not sure it seems to be contrasting it to the very first uh, muse as he rightly pointed doom, out She's doom and gloom <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So nothing but doom and gloom at the end. He goes out for more inspiration, I suppose, because he needs some more inspiration to write his book. But yeah, he doesn't find inspiration out on the streets. OK, excellent, Romelia. Superb for those ones. Let's go for, let's keep going on to Sniha. I see Sniha next. Or oh, Heymal, sorry. Sorry, Sniha. Two, five minutes. Okay. I, I know I saw I saw Heymal earlier and I didn't. Uh, are you there, Heymal? Heymal in... Uh, yes, Dave. Yes, Yep. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so what can you see in the next picture? Yeah, I see uh, a man uh, with very uh, sad uh, mien comes along. Uh, there is artistic artist. Yeah, it's not an English word. Artists. I, I can't. <laughs> Artists that yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, yes, it is not an English word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, 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 so he uh, has come to some, uh, yeah. Uh, backstage. Uh, there is a chair back. and. Uh, Good. Yeah, maybe it's backstage. Yeah, uh, a makeup room. Uh, there is a light, and yeah. uh, he remove. Uh, he, he, ta he takes off uh, his uh, coat and uh, he, he uh, makes. Uh, he ma makes up himself uh, he puts on some makeup not makes up himself he puts on some makeup yeah, he, yeah, he, makeup. Puts, yeah, he, he does his makeup some. yeah he does his makeup he's great as well he does his makeup yeah, can we say dolling up i wouldn't for a man personally i mean because usually women doll themselves up but if he were a woman then i wouldn't uh, usually you doll yourself up before you go out for a night out rather hey. than for the <laughs> stage but um, yeah, I mean, you can you could say he spruces himself up for boys. You know, usually we say spruce yourself up for boys. Um, but I want to warn you that that is uh, for men. Yeah, he spruces himself up, and yeah, himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, uh, yeah, now he is done, and he uh, looks himself uh, at the mirror. He looks at and, himself uh, in the mirror. He looks at himself in the mirror. Himself in. And now he goes uh, to the stage, uh, uh, and uh, there is a clone with a with a, some sort of pudding, and uh, this uh, uh, the clown uh, has a striped shirt and a checkered uh, trouser. Excellent. It's wearing, and uh, yeah, this. Uh, in this act, uh, what he, uh, what they have to do is this clone uh, show this uh, cake on his head. On, Good, throws uh, the cake man's. on his head. Yeah, uh, so uh, 
yeah now uh, uh, he uh, comes uh, back stage and uh, now he has to uh, clean himself up again so that now uh, yeah his job is done and now he is uh, uh, getting his uh, casual clothes again again yeah, putting and, on uh, his casual clothes or throwing yeah. on chucking on his casual clothes Good. Yeah. Uh, now he's uh, now he goes back, goes back, and he has come to his home. Uh, he uh, there is his wife uh, and his uh, little kid. Good. They are having uh, their meal together, Excellent. and uh, he looks. Where uh, he seems to be exhausted, and uh, the child uh, wants to play uh, with the father and uh, he has some uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, liquid container i think a tea a cup of tea uh, i don't think it's oh it might be tea bowl. it might be tea uh, do you know what we put on roast potatoes roast chicken oh. yeah we i think I, I i think even the cup looks like the kind of thing we use in the uk for, with a roast. gravy Gravy. It is a gravy. I think it's gravy container. I think it's gravy, which is like sauce for meat and potatoes, mm. roast meat, roast potatoes, gravy. Yeah, I think he uh, pours. So eventually, the, the yeah, the, eventually the kid. Uh, Dave, I have a question. Uh, is gravy in Sunday roast? Yeah, in Sunday roast. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, the kid spills it on his uh, trousers. I would say pause and, it uh, on his trousers there. And the reason why I say pause it rather than spills it, spills is unintentional. Pause is intentional. Okay, maybe he spills it. Maybe if it's unintentional, he spills it. Yeah, maybe. I think it is. I, I, I think it is unintentional father? because I think he wants to play with his father. And he, okay, okay, he okay. It, uh, you're right. Then you're right. Sorry. Uh, he spills it on his on his father's trousers. Good. Maybe he wants to be useful for his father and help to dress his foot. <laughs> yeah, help him for practice that. for for his uh, performance. <laughs> okay, so what does he do then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he, uh, the same thing. Uh, what he uh, what he has to take in his job uh, has happened in his home. So, uh, it uh, pisses him off, and he uh, uh, bald at child and uh, child. Uh, the kid uh, starts to cry. So the same thing to the child? happens what to him. Do? What did he do to the child? He, uh, he is uh, uh, slapping, uh, bowling. Smack, smack the child. Smack the. It is smack here, and not slap. Not slap. To smack, he smack. smacks the child. Uh, he smacks his son. You don't need to add anything else, but smack is usually on the bottom. Yeah, and you can see him holding his bottom. He's in pain there at the end. So definitely he smacks the child. Yeah. We always use that verb with punishing children. And it's usually that, you know, I remember being smacked as a child. But you're not allowed to smack children anymore. It's against the law. But um, to smack children, it, it, it means that it's not a harsh punishment. You know, it's not like whipping or something like that, which is certainly against the law. And of course, that's very, very different. If you whip somebody, you're using a thin, sharp, you know stick or something like that and that's really serious that's a very serious form of punishment but uh smack for what, what parents do and so uh tell me tell me tell me hey Mar, have any of your children ever spilt a uh, liquid on your trousers after work uh, no 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 they would never do such a thing no, no. <laughs> she's a good girl you can hear her sound i, I think. can hear her how old she's is she how old is she She's uh she's four years old. Four yeah, this years this old. October she will be four years old. Yeah, and what's this October. Her name? Uh, her name is uh, Sneha. Sneha, Sneha, yeah. What's Sneha the meaning Jha. of her name? <laughs> what what does her name mean? Uh, that what means name? Uh, born born from love. Born from love. Uh -huh. Okay, born from love. That's lovely. And and is she sometimes naughty? Does she sometimes need a smack? Or is she very well behaved? Yeah, yes, but she, she knows I, that uh, smacking children is illegal. She she knows already. I, I, <laughs> she, knows. she says that I will go to a police. The He's calling the police. Yeah, I'm calling the police, Dad. You're not allowed to smack me. 
<laughs> okay, excellent. Really good for that, Hey, I, I want like to say that. sure must go on in, in, for in this duration because he... He doesn't look happy with his job, but... <laughs> He doesn't look happy. There's a good phrasal verb we can use for what can, he does. Can, can we say, Dave, uh, uh -huh. uh, take it out on yes, take it yeah, out? Yes, that's what I'm about to write. Yeah, exactly. Anger. Exactly. Child. He, gets a, yeah, he has a bad day at work and he takes it out on. And we always say it. It's always it. So I'm going to get rid of something. It's nearly always to take it out on. So he has a bad uh, could, day could, at work. Could they say, it out Dave, on his child. Uh, could they say... Can they say doesn't came across as happy? Okay, yeah, he doesn't come across as happy. You can certainly come uh, across as extremely could they angry. say, uh, Dave, he's taking out, he's taking his, frustra his frustrations out of his anger. You can, you can, them. that's certainly it. And that's what the yes. it always means your anger, your frustrations. Yes. And yeah, you will see your frustrations sometimes. You're right, actually, it's not always it. That was, I spoke too soon. But uh, yeah, his frustrations certainly works very well. It collocates very well there. He's taking his frustrations out on his child. And so, he's yeah, it does of, work. He's sick of with the stain in his clothes, maybe. <laughs> you can certainly say, yeah, he's got a stain in his clothes. Uh, certainly after the gravy, gravy usually stains. And yeah, a stain is a dirty mark. It's excellent for clothes, certainly. Any other words that people know for that we could use in this picture? Yeah, shout them out. The container, the container for the gravy is called a gravy boat. Because a gravy it's... boat. Good point. Mm. Yeah, good point. Well done. Excellent, Kenneth. A gravy boat. So he grabs the gravy boat and aims at mm. father. <laughs> I think he's doing it on purpose. I don't trust that boy. <laughs> I think he's doing it on purpose. It's but just he too much. So surprised he doesn't do it in, intentionally, I guess, because he, if he uh, knows the consequences, he, uh, he knows. doesn't or do that. Knew. If he if knows he, the consequences, yeah, he wouldn't. Okay, if he knew the consequences, he wouldn't do that. Yeah, second conditional. If he knew, he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Excellent. Any other words, guys? Okay. Well, maybe, let's keep going. Go on. Maybe lash out for, you know, or smacking children. I don't know. Good. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So he lashes out at his child. Yeah, you certainly can. He lashes out at his child. When you lash out at somebody, you're, you're attacking them in some kind of way. Uh, usually it is physical as well to lash out at. But yeah, very good. OK, well, if there aren't any others, let's go on to the next one. And I think we've got Sneha next. Can you hear us, Sneha? Yeah, 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 I'm able to hear excellent, you. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So you've got the next one. Here it is. It's called The Author. So it's another one about a writer. OK, can you see it, Sneha? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to see that. Yeah. Excellent. It's night and the writer is still trying to write something. Good. What's he using to see? A candle. He's lit up Good. a candle. Good. Uh, but still he's not able to get thoughts, any thoughts to write. So he's still Good. thinking, he's pondering. Excellent. Yeah, he can't come up with a good plot, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. He looks penniless. He looks penniless. Good. He looks virtually penniless. I agree. Virtually penniless. Penniless. The hole uh, at uh, under his shoe. Good. And, and the rooms, him room like without any good furniture. Yeah, it's a it mess as well. It's no good furniture. It's poor. Yeah. He's struggling to write actually in the candlelight. Good. Yeah. And then maybe uh, he got some idea. He's happy about it. So, so he started happily writing that. As I can see, he completely got into it. I mean, his plot, maybe. Good. So yeah, he's he happy because, he, yeah. So he's happy that he has finished his uh, writing. Is that He's a skylight the in the um, ceiling? Good, that is a skylight. Certainly, it's a skylight. They're sometimes called Velux windows as well. But yeah, a skylight is absolutely right. Velux windows, a skylight. Yeah. The writer is over the moon. 
He's over the moon, yeah? He's over the moon because the writing is fantastic. Only people can be over the moon. He's over the moon because yeah. he's finished a big, long story, yeah? So he's over the moon. Oh, man. So he's expecting is out to make some world. money. Yeah, content, he's expecting to make it. Content with his writing? Content? He's content? Okay, that just means satisfied. He's content with his writing. He's satisfied with his writing. But if you want to be stronger than that, the writing is out of this world. Yeah, it's out of this world. It's amazing. It's out of this world. Okay, sorry, Sneha. So, so he hopes to make some money. He makes. Yeah. He hopes to make some money out of by selling the story. Good. And the fat man, in the next picture, has uh, bought it. Good. Do you think he's given him loads of money? Uh, no. Mm, not able to see, but you maybe uh, it's uh, he's underpaid for his uh, uh, story. Good to be underpaid for something. Excellent. Maybe he's yeah. been underpaid. <laughs> I think he has. Can we say here he blows his own trumpet like he? boasting with his uh... yeah if he's boasting definitely then you're blowing your own trumpet if you're saying how great you are how wonderful you are certainly okay sorry snow keep going and then in the next picture yeah we see we see the fat man writing maybe he's adding um, some something to the story maybe or take are you able to or use yeah. his own name Maybe yeah. it's the speech. Maybe the fat man has to give at the lunch and maybe at the dinner or supper, or whatever. So you think it's the fat man's speech, yeah, that the guy was writing? Speech, maybe. Yeah, I so think maybe so. Maybe the writer is, yeah, he's a ghost writer, maybe. I mean, the lean man, the writer. Good, yeah. Yeah, I think so. He's a ghost writer. He's writing something for someone else. They pay speech him. Writer. Speech yeah. writer. Pitch writer, Sp speech, oh, speech, speech writer. writer, yeah, yeah, speech, speech writer. writer. Okay. So the fat man, uh, maybe he posed as if he has written the speech. Good, I think uh, so. Yeah, he, he pretended yeah. to write the speech. Yeah, yeah, he has pretended to to be the writer. You can even say he pretended to have written the speech. Speech, and you can use it with, because we're using the verb pretend. You can use a perfect infinitive. He pretended to have written the speech. Yeah. Or take the credit for his... Uh... He took the credit for the writer. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's certainly appropriate to take the credit for some for something. He took the credit for the speech, but actually it was the writer. Yes. Good. Any other any other phrases or expressions we can, can use on this one? Can you say swindler? For, or... He's a swindler. Yeah, he's a swindler. If, if, if he's made, usually a swindler makes money from uh, his tricks, from his deception. Maybe he's a famous <laughs> writer and he used the... Uh, the... Poor guy's works under his yeah. name and take the credits and awards. Takes, takes the credit, takes yeah. The takes credit. the credit and the awards. awards and fame. <laughs> Good, absolutely. And the money. <laughs> what What are people doing in that last picture? What are his, what is his mm. audience doing? He's applauding, they're applauding his speech. Good, they are Happy applauding his speech. Yeah, they're keep clapping. Him, keep him in high regard. They hold him in high regard, certainly. They hold him in high regard. They are applauding. They are clapping his, his speech. Appreciate his work, maybe. Yeah, they appreciate his work. They like what he's done. Well, what is not his work, but they, they appreciate they, can his we, work. Uh, can we use uh, affected in place of pretended? He affected to have written. Well, not with to have written. Um, you can use affect sometimes a little bit like a pre uh, pretend to affect. So he affected a, a woman. Normally it's when, with someone's voice. He affected a woman's voice, I could imagine. Yeah, it is occasionally used like that. But it's very rare, that, that way of using affect. And it is affect with an A, as far as I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah it's a verb, so it ought to be affect with an A. But um, uh, I think it's normally... Yeah, to pretend to feel or think something. So to all his problems, she affected indifference. Yeah, you normally affect an emotion or possibly somebody's voice. So I can imagine somebody saying that, affecting a woman's voice. Um, mm -hmm. But he, oh, look, there we go. To start to wear or do something in order to make people admire or respect you. I'm taking this from the dictionary. I'm just looking up at effect and I go further down. Um, hold on, let me show you on the chat. Where's chat? 
uh, here um, on this one in Cambridge. Um, and I'm going down past the first meaning, which is just influence some, somebody. And then it, it says to pretend to feel or think something and also to start to wear or do something, usually with a voice or an accent, in order to make people admire you or respect you. Yeah, but it is rare in that that form. I should warn you, it's quite rare then. Okay. Okay. So perhaps I guess yeah. I on. guess they also can call him imposter. An imposter. Yeah, he is an imposter. Excellent. Yes, certainly you can. Certainly, he is an imposter. He's not who he pretends to be. Um, he's actually an imposter. Can I okay. can I ask his, one question? His please? Uh -huh. okay. please. He pretended. It means this happened uh, already happened to have written the speech it means this has been finished in a yes. near present it means it has already been finished and so it's in the past really i mean the the writing near of the speech past. was in the past yeah just it, it, i would just say past i mean because it doesn't matter if it was far past or near past um but it has to be finished to to use the perfect infinitive and we only do it with some verbs. We do it with pretend. We certainly do it with claim, seem. He claimed to have written the speech. He seemed to have written the speech. Um, and a few others like expect and hope. But then it's usually future perfect. It's usually in the future, not in the past. So we expect to have finished it by the end of next week. Yeah, we promise to have finished it by the end of the next week. We hope to have finished it by the end of next week. We promise, expect and hope it's future completion. But with pretend, claim, seem, appear, it's past completion. Would be appropriate in this case to say he's an usurper? He's a usurper? Um, not usually, because a usurper would be someone who has taken the king's position yeah, the, you might say it as both place, of a writer. Yeah, yeah. A it's normally so you take the the king's place as well i mean it, it certainly means the king usually so you certainly read about it with yeah, history you know some people say that henry the seventh uh henry tudor was a usurper yeah that he actually took the crown away from the plantagenets mm -hmm. and that it richard the was a good guy words, i can i don't i haven't heard the words before the oh, verbs, yeah. yeah, with two plus infi no, uh, perfect no, no, infinity. No, no, the words that you mentioned, uh, like Henry Seven, I missed the words. Oh, uh, Henry the Seventh, no. Henry Tudor, usurper. Ah, no. uh, yes, yes. Usurper, yeah. No. Uh, some, I don't know why it does that. I want to do that. Let's try and get it further down here. Then, is it going to work? Yeah, <laughs> usurper. Um, and well, to usurp, you. I haven't heard before. Because it's I a historical word. <laughs> I would say it's a historical word, and it's when a pretender, um, you know, we often call him a pretender, a usurper. Um, it's when someone who's not the actual king says, I am the king. And you get this story in all countries, faking? I think, where somebody can we just say thinks, you know, it's me, actually. Somebody can we say faking somebody or something? Yeah, they're faking the idea that they're the next in line to the throne, certainly. They are faking it, certainly. And yeah, you can fake it. We can use fake as a, as a, as a verb like that, certainly. With He's cheating. He's cheating. cheating. Yeah, cheating. 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 cheating, certainly. Without preposition, because if this cheat on somebody yeah. is uh, another meaning. Well, I mean, I would use at with games, to cheat at cards, to cheat at poker. Yeah, and so I would use at to different No, I meant games. I meant uh, cheat on, on somebody yeah, as, yeah. A, a, yeah. as yeah. having an affair. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I just mean cheat at plus game. Yeah, to cheat at tennis, to cheat at cricket, to cheat. I would say cheat in your exams, though. Cheat in your exams. Yeah, and so it is different. It A, a lot depends on what the next noun is going to be. Yeah, because we, we certainly say cheat on a woman they... yeah, or cheat on a man. Yeah. The, but the core meaning is the same. You do the wrong thing in the beginning. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I suppose cheating in an exam is slightly different from che cheating at poker or card. But I mean, yeah, you, you, the, the, the preposition is really determined by the noun there. I think it's the type of if it's a game, it's going to be at, you know, even a sport, I would use at. But exams, I would use in to cheat in an exam. But with any person on, yeah, to cheat on a person. And that is always sexual, as in, you know, you have another partner. OK, Maria, you've got the last picture here, the detective story. Can you see this story, Maria? Yes, yes. OK, okay what can you see in the first picture? 
it it is a bookshop i think good and uh, and uh, person is asking some information asking um, for some information asking for some information <laughs> and uh, i think he he bought a book a novel and he was trying to read in third picture and good. he uh, is he is trying to read it or he tries to read it if it's the next thing yes um and uh, he took off his hat and okay okay and he, he was uh, he was really interested in some uh, in in reading something he got something very interesting thing and uh, now he was uh, still eating maybe the story was quite interesting and he is uh, definitely a uh, uh, so he uh, yeah he is very um, interesting to read he is very interested to read the whole story the whole novel good it's a gripping it's story story engrossing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Say, engrossing it is story. very awesome. attractive story it is very um, interesting story maybe good and uh, at night he was still reading good what's he doing here as well you can see what's happening there he was sitting on the chair uh, and uh, he was still reading. Uh, what what do we stuff. call it when you do that? When there's water, I think that's there. I think that's water. Sweating. Yeah. He good. was sweating. Good, he couldn't good, good, realize good. the uh, weather, and he was still. He did not realize whether it is hot or um, the weather is not very favorable. But he he keep reading, and he keeps uh, reading. He keeps reading. He keeps reading, and uh, I think. This is the not same person in next picture. I Someone... think it is. He's still got the book, so I think it is. I think it's him. Okay, okay. He 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 he's wearing in something different dress. That's why maybe it is in the morning. But not this is the morning. He's wearing we different can... clothes. I would say he's wearing, he's wearing different clothes. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, he's Those wearing dresses different for girls. Yes, but uh, it is still night. Uh, we can see moon and dark sky outside. Good. And he was going. He he was going. He's going outside, and uh, he went somewhere. Uh, he's opening a door, maybe some other house or thing. Okay. And uh, then he was looking something under the bed. He was looking uh, for something under the bed. Yeah, he was looking for something under the bed. Yes, and uh, maybe he got some idea while reading the story. Yeah, and I think uh, so. What kind of story do you think it is? <laughs> it is, I think, susp suspense detective story. Maybe. maybe, yeah, something scary, yeah, something, something frightening scary, like a detective yes. story, suspense. Thriller. Yes, suspense novel or uh, detective story. And again, he he's he's having his breakfast and he's still reading that story. Good. Why do you think he's got dark eyes? Uh, he couldn't sleep very well, and he's tired. Good. And Excellent. and he's still um, reading. And Good. what happened in next picture? I couldn't. Uh, he's really exhausted. <laughs> More than <laughs> <five>. Wait, can <laughs> he feel the touch of the next man's? Maybe yes. He's terrified. He 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 was really involved in that story he couldn't realize someone is asking something and uh, when someone touched him he 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 scared and he uh, he was shouting good excellent yeah he was really absorbed in the story and so he's Can so scared get lost in the story he got yes. lost in the story yeah he got lost yeah. in the story in the plot yeah he got lost yeah. certainly he was taken aback by well, the man. Uh, he was taken aback by yeah, by this. What he's what is he yeah. what does he actually do? How would you say that, Maria? Pat, pat uh, on his shoulder. Good, yeah. Patting. Tap is not more tap. common than pat. You can tap. pat someone on I don't know why, but we often pat someone on the head, but you tap okay. someone on the shoulder. I don't know why. There's the same emotion. <laughs> These but, are British things. We can't yeah, but differentiate just, yeah, because to, we are not native speakers. <laughs> it's the, I think it's just collocations and they are tricky. Maybe. You know, pat, like we yeah. normally say pat somebody's head, but tap somebody's shoulder. Pat, it means pat on head, on the head. Yeah, usually. 
pat, on tap the somebody head. on the shoulder. Tap somebody. And when you we pray, mm -hmm. someone we say mm -hmm. tap on the back. You deserve a tap on the back. A pat on the back. Very a good pat. question. It is a pat on a the pat back. On the yeah? back. <laughs> you can give yourselves a pat on the back. We often say, give yeah. yourselves a pat on the back. And yeah, pat. it is pat for head or back. But tap. Pat, on tap on is usually hand. with your finger. Pat is usually yeah. with your hand. And so the idea is that you usually do that uh, when you're tapping somebody on the shoulder. You don't usually do that, but I mean, maybe you do. I'm not sure. But uh, tap somebody on the shoulder, we usually say. Can we say the bold man uh, take uh, him off guard, guard or? Caught him off guard. You certainly can. Caught, so caught him off guard. Okay, keep going, Maria. Uh, the next picture, in the next picture, uh, he the person was still reading, uh, uh, and uh, the man, bold uh, man, he 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 has a, a bottle of wine in his hand, Good. and he he he's surprised what's going on, why the person is so crazy, why he is reading this novel, uh, very keenly. Okay, good. And uh, in the next picture. Uh, I think something has happened. I can't explain. <laughs> How do we call the thing which you use on a bottle of wine? What do we call that? He took off the lid. Well, uh, that's very good for anything except for wine. <laughs> Not wine, <laughs> but I mean, for anything else, yeah, you do. You unscrew the lid. You take off the lid um, on a bottle of Coke, on a bottle of Fanta, on a bottle of soft drink. Yeah, a bottle of water as well. But this one, we call it a... What do we call it? Cork. 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 Exactly. And he he uh, you can just say Cork. he uncorks the bottle to uncork a bottle of wine. Um, that's one way you could do it. Or yeah, he takes a corkscrew and opens the wine. You can just say that as well. It's fine. It's clear. Let me note to uncork a bottle of wine. Yeah, he uncorks the bottle of wine. And it makes a loud noise. Okay. Okay. And it, I think this was a, lo a lot, uh, uh, this was a really loud noise. Yes. And, uh, and uh, he, again, he's scared and yes. he, yes. the book, uh, the book fell down from his hand. Now um, it is fell down. Oh. I wouldn't even, I would just say fell. <laughs> or, fell or the, book, the book fell from his what? hands. The, be the book fell on his head, fell on fell. his head. I wouldn't um, say fall down myself there, not really. Yeah. Can we say the noise uh, scared him to the death? To death, yeah, just to death. And certainly, yeah, he was scared to death. Yeah, and you can do a lot with to death because we say scared to death, but we also say star yeah, starved to death. I mean, he didn't starve to death, he didn't. But uh, if you don't eat for many, many weeks, you yes. starve to death. And you can also bleed to death. And so there are a number of... To death yes. expressions, yeah, scared to death, starved to death, bleed to death, you know, even bored to, to death. death. Sorry, bored, bored to death. Very good. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Why well, can't? Why we've got no writing there? <laughs> I'll, I'll write it down here. Bored to death. Yeah, look, it's working again now. Bored, bored to death. Oh, look at that. It doesn't work down there. Okay, I'll try doing it like that then. Bored to death. <laughs> it's not working. Try up here. Bored to death. I don't know but why. I think it does playing it. game with you today. <laughs> yeah, it does it. It does it every week. I don't know what. It, I think it's Zoom. Zoom's fault. I've never liked Zoom. Yeah, I've never liked it. I actually pay for it now, and that's why I don't like it. They ask for money, and <laughs> Skype have never asked for money, never, and they offer just as good a service. I'll admit that Zoom offer this kind of group classroom, which is nice, um, but generally speaking, Zoom do annoy me. Um, but that was brilliant. Fantastic for that story. We'll have to stop there. And I want to warn everybody that there won't be one next week, but in two weeks, because I'm going on holiday next week for a little short holiday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so uh, no no class next week. But I promise in two weeks, um, as usual. Yeah. Then have uh, a nice holiday. We'll do. We, I will do. Certainly. I can't wait. <laughs> It's a paddle boarding holiday. We're taking the paddle boards. Yeah. And so it's a, a little holiday where there's a house and it goes onto the water. So you get up, you get out of bed, you get your board out, you go on the water. It's perfect. It, it, I think the kids will love it, certainly, because it means we can go and yeah. look around on the water. It okay. means you're the, not the, going somewhere else abroad. No, nah, no, it's a little yeah. short one. Little short. Oh. 
I will do. Have I a will great do a time. Later, have a great time, Dave. Have fun excellent, with your excellent. I have a few holidays planned for later on in the year, and I will go abroad. I do like to go abroad, but I I appreciate that England has got a lot of lovely places yes, to go yes. and visit. Yes. Even in my town, really, there are a lot of lovely places, but you don't have to go far to find pretty places in England. And so I'm looking forward to it. I am nice to get out of the out of town, certainly. But I will oh, see you all in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. In Stoke and then, Trent, we have Peak District. That is really beautiful. Of course you beautiful. do, yeah. Yeah. You've got a lot is, of nice places. Yeah. You've got Staffordshire yeah. and Gloucestershire yes. as yes. well. And Wales is right next door. Yes, uh, yes, Wales. yes. Yes. I know they've got lovely right. places there. Yes. yes, yes. I thought um, Newcastle yes. Underline was very rural. You know, that was like a, a village for me. And yes. it was a rural area, certainly. Yes, you you are absolutely right. <laughs> Dave, I sent you a message. I kept on uh, IELTS exam upcoming. Can you read the message? <laughs> On Maybe Instagram? On Instagram? No, here, here, in private. <laughs> I have oh, an Instagram upcoming. And I'd like to uh, have a speaking. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, indeed, indeed. Well, I will see you in two weeks, guys. And, uh, yeah, have a great time. Until then, okay. and I'll see you all soon. Bye, Dave. Bye. Have, Thank a nice much. Holiday. have a nice, have a nice holiday. holiday. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.